So you've been thinking about investing in PIM software for your e-commerce business, or maybe you're just doing research to see how PIM could help. Don't worry, you've come to the right video. In today's landscape, more and more e-commerce businesses are adopting different tools and software to try and get ahead of the curb. And one of the tools at the top of everybody's list, PIM. But how do you know when's the right time to make the switch? And does your business really need one? I'm Manuela with Plytics, and today we're going to talk about six signs that tell you that your business is ready for PIM. And spoiler alert, if any of these signs resonate with you, PIM might be your answer. But what is PIM? In case you're not sure or need a refresher, PIM stands for Product Information Management, and it refers to software that acts as a central source of truth for all of your product information. From there, you can send that information out to your sales channels, retailer, distributors, you name it. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's go to the first sign. Sign number one, you're managing your product data where you shouldn't be. Even though product information management is up there in the top four most essential tools for building your e-commerce business, and more on this later on, people often mistake other tools that weren't designed with data in mind as the answer. But let's put it this way. Have you ever tried to eat soup with a fork? Paint your house with a toothbrush? No? Then maybe you shouldn't try to manage your product data from your online store, your inventory system, or even worse, an Excel spreadsheet. Drowning in a sea of spreadsheets with multiple versions and data errors is a surprisingly common scenario for a growing number of businesses. But when you find yourself spending more time trying to manage data rather than focusing on growth, it's a clear sign that it may be time for PIM. Sign number two, you've got more than 100 SKUs. For every SKU, there's likely dozens, and in some case hundreds, of data points to go along with it. So for even a small company with a couple of unique products and very few variations, there's likely a lot of accompanying product data. If you haven't quite hit the 100 SKU mark just yet, you might be able to get away with not using PIM, though I'd guess that you'd probably want to see your business grow and expand, and as your product catalog grows, so does the complexity of managing it. Keeping track of changes, updating information, and ensuring a consistent brand experience for your customers can easily get out of hand. And if your business grows and expands into new markets and territories, the complexity of your product data will only expand as well. By adding more data like different languages, currencies, and market requirements, things can easily start to pile up. PIM simplifies this process by helping to manage anything from translations, currency conversions, and regional data differences, making global expansion smoother and more efficient. So if you have or plan to have more than 100 SKUs, it's probably the right time to invest in PIM for your business. Sign number three, you sell or plan to sell across multiple channels. If you sell in more than one place, it might already be a good time to get PIM. As more and more customers interact with businesses online, it's essential for brands like yours to have a strong online presence. That usually means selling through your own site or marketplaces, retailers, social platforms, directly to distributor, the list goes on. Chances are you're probably already selling across a few of those and that's where PIM definitely comes in handy. Managing all the different requirements for everywhere you sell can be a nightmare. Your distributors want one thing, your online retail partners need another, you get the picture. And managing it all within a spreadsheet with multiple tabs just doesn't cut it. As you sell on more channels, your need for accurate product data grows. With a tool like PIM, you can manage all of your product information from one central location. Sign number four, you've started to build your e-commerce tech stack. If we picture your business as a house that you're building, you're going to need a different combination of people or tools to make it happen. At the very least, you're going to need someone to design and physically build it, but maybe you won't need those expensive exotic plants or world-famous interior designer. Looking at the tech stack for your business is kind of the same. There are some tools that you might be able to live without, like our interior designer, and others that are absolutely essential, like an architect. Though I personally wouldn't budge on the exotic plants, that's just me. For any e-commerce business, it's essential that you have a way to manage inventory, like with an inventory management system or enterprise resource planning tool, a place for your customers to find, browse, and buy your products with something like a content management system, a way to manage and process payments with a payment service provider, and a way to store and manage your product data with something like PIM. If you want to know more about how to build the perfect tech stack for your e-commerce business, check out our tech stack video that's linked in the description. Of course, there are a ton of tools that you might need, 
But those four are essentially the building blocks to success. I mean, you can't exactly have a thriving e-commerce business if you don't at least have a way to accept payments, right? But it's not uncommon for businesses to start with something like an ERP and a CMS and only later look for a data solution after product data errors start to arise. So if that's you, don't worry. As long as you have a way to manage your inventory and a place to sell and buy products, the next step to ensure success for your business is to invest in a PIM system. Sign number five, your team is bigger than five people. Collaboration truly is the key to progress as a company grows. That's because simply put, it's easier to handle data and processes between fewer team members. I mean, think about it. When your team is just a few people, it's easy enough, though not the most practical, to shout across at the colleague in front of you to confirm if you've got the most up-to-date information about your new product. However, as you start to grow, the efficiency and productivity of teams can determine the trajectory of your business. When it's time to get serious about growth, your daily operations will start to involve multiple teams, each responsible for a different aspect of your business. From marketers and designers to manufacturers and distributors, the list can be endless. Keeping all of these moving parts and people in harmony quickly becomes a daunting task without something like a PIM system. With PIM, you can provide your teams with a singular platform to access, update, and maintain product data, ensuring consistency and accuracy across all of your sales channels. If you've set your site on or already surpassed the five employee milestone, investing in PIM is not just a wise move, it's your key to building a thriving and competitive business. Sign number six, you've noticed an increase in product errors and customer complaints. Did you know that a whopping 98% of shoppers decide against making a purchase when they notice incomplete or inaccurate product content? Having inaccurate product information can easily damage your brand's reputation, frustrate your customers, and ultimately cause a number of costly returns. That's the thing about working from tools that weren't specifically designed to manage data. There can often be multiple versions rolling around in the shared office folder, which leads to incorrect, incomplete or inconsistent information easily escaping. We actually recently spoke to one of our customers about how they handled errors before they switched to PIM, and they said that it took them almost one whole year to erase incorrect data that had escaped one of their spreadsheets. Your product data influences how customers perceive and trust your business. PIM ensures that your product information is accurate, up to date, and presented consistently across all touch points, which in turn enhances the shopping experience and builds trust with your customers. So if you've started to notice customers complaining about inaccurate product information or faced an increasingly number of product returns, it might be your time to invest in PIM. This software will address these issues by providing a centralized system for managing and updating product information, ultimately reducing data-related errors. In the end, there's a number of tools that can help your business stay competitive in the dynamic world of e-commerce, and by watching this video, you've already made a great start. If you recognize any of these signs that we mentioned, then it's definitely the right time to consider investing in a PIM solution. And if you've decided that yes, you need a PIM, you can download our free comparison guide that compares the best PIM solutions in the market. The link for that is also in the description. I hope this video helped you understand if a PIM system is the right next step for your e-commerce business. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and tips about product information management and how to grow your e-commerce business.